So, hi, so my name is uh, Lawrence uh, Flank Nyambalo, a proud statistician who has studied Master of Science in Epidemiology at the Malawi renowned University uh, College of Medicine, where I've done um, epidemiology. So, I work with um, expanded program on immunization in Malawi under the Ministry of Health as the deputy data manager. So, to me, DHS2 is an um, open source web based uh, platform commonly used as the health management information system where most of the countries actually use in data management uh, and analytics and again uh, program monitoring and evaluation and so much. In Malawi including other 72 low middle income countries actually DHS2 is highly utilized like in my program as the expanded program on immunization we normally track um, immunization coverages, more especially we want to understand um, the utilization and uh, accessibility of the um, immunization programs of the children. So basically we use the DHS2 as where well we would populate uh, the figures on how this uh, immunization is actually being utilized and again how the people are making use of the vaccines that's, accept, that's um, access like are they able to come and access the services. What about demand creation as in if the program is really reaching out, is it that people are able to understand uh, on the uh, vaccines? So generally using DHS, we've got all program indicators that we're able to track on the progress on immunization coverages in Malawi. So basically what we do, we collect data like in the facilities and uh, the data is inputted in the DHS2 as the data depository where we go and actually populate the reports as in how the districts have actually managed in terms of uh, immunization coverages as far as my program is concerned. So basically we go into DHS2 and then be able to populate the data, analyze it and then be able to expose to uh, uh, data users where you'd see there are some um, healthy uh, partners that are so much interested in the, DHA, um, in, in the immunization data so basically when we get to the DHS2, we populate the data, be able to prepare the indicators that are so much uh, posing a lot of interest to the partners so that they will be able to come in and then intervene in some of the immunization intervention. Like in Malawi, uh, uh, immunization coverage is uh, 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 above 80%. So basically people don't want to see to say, okay, can we see districts? So we don't maybe to look at the coverages by districts. People don't want to see the graphs to see how are we faring. And uh, let's look at, for example, for the past, let's say, uh, two, three years. So what we do actually populate the data, you show the, the graphs to see, okay, this is how the trend is actually going. And if maybe some programs are not doing well, like in areas where we need some interventions, people want to see the, the graphs, right, the tables. So visualization is really one of the most important components because it's actually appealing. People are able to understand. And in, in fact, that would also attract most of their interventions because people don't appreciate to say, okay, if we're not doing well, look at the trend. How is the graph portraying? And how is it that we are able to, you know, relate to say which variables are we interested in? So visualization-wise, I would say it's perfect because it's really uh, user uh, appealing because people don't appreciate by understanding how the data is actually flowing. So it's really of good help. So, wow, a big round of, of applause to DHS2 because it's really very, very helpful in terms of um, visualizations.